everyone. Welcome to Live Interactive English. This is Karen. And this is Shane. Today we have a lesson on translation practice. So what kind of topics are we talking about today? Well, there's like two topics we could talk about. One could be trees. Okay. The other one could be dreams. We could <laughs> Which talk one about do you dreams want to talk about? about being a tree. <laughs> Or a tree that had a dream. Okay, wait. I, uh, let's let's pick dreams. Okay? okay. Did you ever have dreams when you were little? <laughs> okay, not, so like not like a when goal. I a goal, that kind That's of goal. dream. Setting a goal in your life. Two kinds of dreams, right? Okay. The one you fall asleep, and then you and dream then about something. That, it's your goal or something. Yeah. Well, I always wanted to uh, go traveling around Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe not when I was little, but as I got a little bit older, I thought, oh, it'd be really cool to go backpacking around Europe. So I. <laughs> Saved all my money. How long did it take you to do that? To save all your money? Well, first I went to the Navy. Okay. And while I was in the Navy, I didn't really spend any money, so I saved all of that money. Wow. And then I used that money to travel around Europe for about three months as a backpacker. Did it it was awesome. That is that is really, really good. Did you spend all your money after by the end of the trip? Basically, yeah. <laughs> okay. But it was worth it. Yeah, you're right. You're you make right. money to spend it and to enjoy your life. And I really like how you said you were talking about it before. It's the school of life. It's not like the school where you go to and then yeah. learn knowledge from books. But, you know, you learn so much more. Totally. I didn't go to a university or anything there. I went to a university after I went back. Mm -hmm. But there I learned a lot just from the school of life. I know. Right? Yeah, just talking to people, learning to speak Spanish just from the locals and hanging out with them. It was a great experience. Great inspiration. Yeah. And so for you guys out there, never stop dreaming. That's right. Dreams are great. Mm -hmm. Follow your dreams. <laughs> okay. Enjoy today's lesson, guys. Don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. You can do it. You can do it. All right. All right. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Translation practice. Practice A. It is universally known that trees are essential because they provide us with oxygen. Trees also provide shelter for animals and reduce air temperature by blocking light from the sun. Hi everyone, my name is Jeff. My name is Hanny. Welcome to this month's translation practice. Today, as always, we will be translating. We will be translating four Chinese sentences into English. Now, we will try to have fun along the way as well. But, but that doesn't mean that this lesson will be easy. Remember, translation can be hard. Hmm, true. That's where we come in. We're here to help you all solve any and all translation-related problems. Okay, let's get started. Today, Okay, the first explanation of the day deals with a phrase. Subject, be universally or globally known. Okay, if something is universally or globally known, this thing is known of or famous pretty much everywhere. Further, people all over the world or the world over are aware of this thing if it's globally known. Anyways, note. Sometimes you'll see the word it at the beginning of this phrase and the word that at the end of this phrase. In a situation like this, what is globally or universally known follows the word that. For example, McDonald's is a globally known brand or a universally known brand. Do kai. It is universally known, by the way, it is universally known that fast food is bad for you. Sushiduman it is universally known 加上 that 子句的句型，其中这个 it 就是虚主词，代替真正的主词是 that 子句。
。例如 ，smoking is globally known to increase a person's risk of developing lung cancer。大家都知道抽烟会提高罹患肺癌的风险。再看一个例句。It is universally known that Thomas Edison invented the phonograph. 爱迪生他发明了留声机。那这件事众所皆知。Okay, that wasn't too bad. I wonder what lies in store for us next. No need to wonder, Hanny. Next up, we've got some rather simple vocabulary words to discuss. Essential, important, necessary, vital. Yeah, if something is essential, important, necessary, or vital,、huh? this thing is crucial. All jokes aside, if something is crucial, by the way, or necessary, vital, etc., you have to have it. Okay, you must have it. You have to have it, or you can't do without it. Now, one note: the word "important" is the weakest of these four words. Yeah, you might be able to do without something important, but it won't be easy. For example, stay tuned for an important message containing vital information. 请继续收听，持续关注重大消息。好 ，important 是用来形容重要的、重大的。那我们还可以用 essential 或是 necessary 或者是 vital， 还有刚刚 Jeff 老师说的 crucial， 这些都可以形容必要的、非常重要、至关重要、不可或缺的。例如 ，It's necessary to fill out the form. 填这份表格是必要的。再看个例句 ，Vitamins and minerals are essential to our health. 维生素跟矿物质对我们健康来说是不可或缺的。Wow, four vocabulary words at one time. That must be a record. Four is a lot. That being said, all four of these words meant about the same thing. So that's something to take into consideration. Anyway, let's learn about some verb phrases right now. Right now, provide somebody with something, or provide something for somebody. If you provide somebody with something, you give that person something, something that will help them, or which might be good for them in some way. Now, providing something. For somebody is similar here to something is given to someone to this person's benefit. Now, you can use these phrases interchangeably. Okay, just be aware of the word order. Okay, and the word choices that you make. All right, all right. Further, when writing, use the phrase that best places your emphasis. Either on the person getting something or the thing being given to someone. For example, we'll provide you with everything you need for your trip. 你去旅行所需要的东西，我们都会提供给你。好，那么 provide 这个动词它就表示提供。常见的用法是 provide 加人 with 加上东西，或者是 provide 东西加上 for 加人，这就表示为某人提供某物。例如 ，The cafe provides free Wi-Fi for its customers. 那间餐馆有为顾客提供免费的无线网络。好，再看一个例句。The hotel provides its guests with excellent service. 那间饭店为客人提供极佳的服务。好了，那现在我们已经学会所有相关的文法重点，可以翻译整个句子了。So the sentence could be: It is universally known that trees are essential because they provide us with oxygen. Okay, why wait? Let's go ahead and take a look at sentence number two right now. Good idea. 好，今天要翻译的第二个句子是：树木也提供动物庇护，并透过阻挡阳光来降低气温。句中的主词是树木，那动词是提供以及降低。因为这个句子在承接上一句，所以它的时态也是用现在简单式。All right, it looks like vocabulary is the name of the game again. Let's go ahead and talk about the word shelter. The word shelter refers to a place where a person or an animal can go to be safe or to get protection from things like bad weather and stuff like that. Note: this word is uncountable 
when it is used or when it is used to refer to something other than a building or a structure. For example, come in, she said. I'll give you shelter from the storm. Hmm. 赶快进来，我们这边可以让你遮蔽，遮蔽风雨。Shelter 这个单字呢，它当庇护啊、遮蔽来解释的时候，它是不可数名词。那当遮蔽物或者是庇护所来解释的时候，就是可数名词。好，来看个例句。The soldiers took shelter in an abandoned building for the night. 士兵们在一栋废弃的建筑物里面躲避，来度过那个夜晚。Okay, we have a lot to do, so let's keep moving. Good idea. Let's discuss another phrase right now. By plus noun or verb ing. Okay, in this sentence, this phrase tells us how something is or was done. By what means something is or was accomplished, etc. Otherwise, this phrase can also tell us who did something or who was or is responsible for something. Now, to be clear, okay, the word "by" is not being used to refer to the location of something relative to another thing. In this case, okay. For example, by studying hard, I was able to ace the final exam. 嗯，要在期末考拿到好成绩，用功念书就是不二法门。好 ，by 加上名词或动名词，就表示透过什么或是借由什么。例如 ，He broke the ice by telling a joke. 他借由说笑话来破冰，来打破这个尴尬的冷场。Okay, next we have some more verb phrases to discuss. Let's take a look. Block light from the sun, or block sunlight. Okay, in this case, the word block is a verb. To block something is to get in the way of that thing, to obstruct that thing, or to keep something from moving, as it would under normal circumstances. Now, if something blocks light from the sun or blocks sunlight, yes,、yeah, sunlight, everyone is light from the sun. Anyways, yes, if something blocks light from the sun or sunlight, this thing creates shade. Yeah, it stops light before it strikes the surface of the earth. For example, the brim of the hat is there to block sunlight. 戴帽子除了让我们看起来更时尚，这帽子的边缘也可以拿来阻挡阳光。好，要表达阻挡阳光，英文可以说 block light from the sun， 或者是 block sunlight。其中这个 block 是当动词哦，它表示阻挡或是挡住。例如 ，sun visors in cars are used to block light from the sun。车内那个遮阳板啊，就是上面可以搬起来那个，是用来阻挡阳光的。Okay， break time is fast approaching， everyone。In fact。Only one explanation stands between us and a break. Correct. It is now time to talk about reducing air temperature.、Brr. Reduce air temperature. To reduce, everyone. To reduce is to make something smaller in some way. If you reduce air temperature, you make the air cooler than it was before. You Decrease the temperature of the air so that it is not as hot as it once was, or it's not as hot as it was before. For example, I wish there were a way to reduce the air temperature in the summer, especially on windless days. 台湾夏天真的很热，没有风的时候又更加闷热。要是如果有方法能有效降温，那该有多好！ Reduce air temperature 就表示降低气温。那动词 reduce 它有减少、缩小、降低的意思。而 temperature 它表示温度。如果要表达气温，你可以说 air temperature。例如 ，The air temperature drops after the sun goes down。太阳下山后，气温就下降了。再看一个例句 ：Ceiling fans are an effective way to reduce Room temperature, 要降低室温，那天花板的吊扇是个有效的方法。好了，那现在我们学会相关的单词片语，可以翻译整个句子了。So the sentence could be: Trees also provide shelter for animals and reduce air temperature by blocking light from the sun. Okay, with that, we have now completed the first half of this lesson, and that means it's time for a break. But don't go away. We'll be right back. 
with the second half of this month's translation practice soon. Translation practice. Practice B. It has been my dream to travel around the world since I entered senior high school. To fulfill this dream, I am determined to study English as much as possible and start saving my pocket money. Welcome back. Hanny and I are here to finish up this month's translation practice. Before the break, we translated two sentences. We're now going to translate two more. Let's go ahead and take a look at sentence number three, everyone. 好，今天要翻译的第三个句子是：从我上高中以来，环游世界一直是我的梦想。句中的主词是环游世界 ，to travel around the world。那我们可以用虚主词 it 来代替它。那动词是一直是。由于句子的前半句提到从我上高中以来，那我们就可以用 since 引导副词子句来表达自从什么什么以来，而主要子句就用现在完成式来表达。嗯、mm, ，Let's get back. Into the swing of things by explaining another phrase. Since plus a time in the past, or since plus subject plus verb ed. Okay, the word since here is used to refer to a period of time, a period of time that has lasted from some point in the past up until now, the present. Now. As for the point in time marking the beginning of this period, you indicate when this period began or started in the clause, i.e., the subject plus verb ed part that follows the word since. Since comes first, then the other part of that phrase, the clause part. Anyways, for example, I have been waiting here since. Noon. I have been waiting here since my dog ran away. 嗯，别担心，狗狗都很聪明，它们跑去玩应该还会自己跑回来吧，不然主人可能会等等到天荒地老了。那我们来学 since 这个字，它表示从什么什么以来。since 当这个意思来解释时，后面是要接开始的时间点或是子句。那用法是 since 加上过去的时间点，就是时间的名词，或者是 since 加上过去式的子句，也就是主词加上过去式动词。而它的主要子句呢，通常会使用完。成式或是完成进行式，例如 ，I haven't seen her since 2009. 我从二零零九年以来都一直没有见过她。I haven't seen her since she moved to Nanto. 自从她搬到南投，我就一直都没有见过她了。Jeff, what do you have for us now? Anything juicy?、Uh, you, you mean gossip-wise or something? No, I was. Planning on explaining the phrase "enter senior high school." Nothing more, nothing less. Though, yeah, high schoolers—they do gossip quite a bit. Yeah. Anyways, enter senior high school. Let's be clear here. In this case, this phrase means to start senior high school. If a person enters senior high school, this person has begun to attend senior high. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're not talking about. Entering a school building by way of a door. Okay, that's not the case here. For example, Jamie will enter senior high school at the end of the summer. Jamie 过完暑假就要上高中了。好，那么 enter senior high school 就是上高中。那其用这个动词 enter， 就像我们键盘上面的 enter， 它是可以用来指开始加入什么，像是开始加入学校啊，或者某个组织等等。例如 ，Their daughter will be entering high school next year. 明年他们的女儿就要上高中了。Okay, Jeff, shall we wrap up sentence number three? We shall. In a bit, you see. There's one explanation left to go. Travel around the world, or travel all over the world. If you travel around the world or all over the world, you travel extensively. I.e., you travel a lot. You travel to many different places, etc. Now, usually these phrases are not employed literally, but some people. Have actually traveled the whole way around the world. Yeah, 
For example, James. James took a gap year and traveled all over the world. Wow. Gap year 是指人生的空档年。有一些人会在下一个学习阶段或者下一个工作开始之前，给自己一年的时间去壮游、去自我追寻。那如果预算够的话，甚至可以去环游世界。好，我们要表达环游世界，英文可以说 travel around the world， 或者是 travel all over the world。例如 ，If I had a million dollars。I would travel around the world. 要是我有一百万美元，我会去环游世界。新台币三千万，很够了啦。好了，那现在我们已经学会如何用英文表达环游世界，还有上高中，那也学会 since 的用法，可以翻译整个句子喽。So the sentence could be: It has been my dream to travel around the world since I entered senior high school twenty years ago. Okay, we have now reached the final sentence of the day. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at sentence number four. 今天要翻译的第四个句子是：为了实现这个梦想，我决定要尽可能学好英文，并开始存零用钱。那句中的主词是我，动词是决定。由于这句是在承接上一句，那时态是用现在式。Okay, in this sentence, we have some sentence patterns to discuss. Let's take a look at them, everyone, right now. To verb, da da da, or in order to verb, da da da. Now these patterns can be used to express what someone will need to do to accomplish something, or what they'll have to have to do or accomplish that thing. That's pretty much it. For example, in order to be a success in life. You'll have to work hard. 嗯，我们并非生来就是人生胜利主，为了要成功就得努力工作。那么 to 加上动词，或者是 in order to 加上动词，就是用来表示目的，相当于中文的为了什么什么。例如 ，in order to sing better, she practices singing every day. 为了要唱歌唱得更好，她就每天练习唱歌。另外，如果要表达为了不怎么样，那你可以用 in order not。To 加上动词的句型，像是 In order not to miss the flight, she took a taxi to the airport. 为了不要错过班机，她就搭小黄去机场。Wow, Jeff, that was easy. Hmm, I guess. But hey, we're not out of the woods yet, Hanny. Not yet. Fulfill or carry out one's dream or dreams, or. Make one's dream or dreams come true. Okay, everyone has things that they'd like to do in life. Some of us even have dreams. Those slightly crazy, seemingly impossible things that we'd like to do or see or experience before we die. Some of us even do whatever it takes to make our dreams reality. Yeah. People like us try to fulfill our dreams or make our dreams come true. For example, to make your dreams come true, you're going to have to make sacrifices. 想要美梦成真，就必须有所牺牲。成功是有代价的哦。那要表达实现梦想，英文可以说 fulfill one's dream， 或是 carry out one's dream， 或是 make one's dream come true。那其中这个 dream 表示梦想，也可以用复数型来表示。至于 fulfill 这个动词以及片语 carry out， 它都有实现啊、完成的语义。例如 ，He fulfilled his dreams at the age of forty。他在四十岁的时候完成梦想了。Okay, Jeff, time is running low, and we have three more explanations to go. What are we going to do?、Uh, I don't know exactly, <laughs> but I do know that I am determined to finish this lesson with style. Ah, <laughs> no.、Nah. Be determined to plus verb or. Decide to verb. Now, if a person is determined or determined to do something, this person is serious. Yes, the word determined describes a person who is not going to give up until they have reached their goal or until they've gotten what they what they set out to get. Yes, similarly, a person who has 
decided to do something, has made up their mind in this regard. You could say that they are determined to do this thing. For example, I have decided to see the investigation through to the end. 我决定要坚持到最后，把这项调查研究完成。好，要表达下定决心，然后决定做某事。我们英文可以说 be determined to 加上原形动词，或者是 decide to 加上原形动词。那其中这个 determined 它是形容词，形容下定决心的，或者是坚定的。例如 ，She's determined to sue the company。她决定要告那间公司，对那间公司提起诉讼。All right, Jeff. We're really up against it. It's us versus the clock. Tick tock, tick tock. And we still have two more explanations to make. Ah, ah. <laughs> wait, wait. Compose myself. Style. Okay, everyone. Let's do these final two explanations back to back. First up is verb as much as possible. If you do something as much as possible, you do that thing. As much as you can, you maximize the amount of time you spend doing that thing. For instance, if you read as much as possible, you read, you read and read and read, you read whenever you have the time to do so. For example, I like to walk as much as possible so as to stay fit. Jeff 老师平常都有慢跑习惯，他也会尽量多走路来维持身体健康。那我们来看句型，动词加上 as much as possible， 就表示尽可能的多做某事。例如 ，You should rest as much as possible。你应该尽可能的多休息。Okay, everyone, that brings us to the final explanation of the day. Let's talk about pocket money. Pocket money. Pocket money. Is like spare change or disposable income. Yeah, pocket money is money that you can spend. In fact, pocket money is money that you carry around with you regularly. That is meant to cover your daily expenses. So, in a sense, pocket money is meant to be spent. Meant to be spent.、Huh? For example, my parents never once gave me pocket money that I hadn't earned. Oh, 当父母要给小孩零用钱的时候，要怎么给？要给多少都是一大学问。要是用家事来换零用钱，小朋友搞不好还会误以为做家事就是为了赚钱。好 ，pocket money 就是零用钱。例如 ，Victor has been saving his pocket money to buy a Nintendo Switch. Victor 为了要买任天堂游戏机，他一直在存零用钱。好啦，那现在我们学会所有的文法，重点可以翻译整个句子了。So the sentence could be: To fulfill this dream, I am determined to study English as much as possible and start saving my pocket money. Okay, everyone. With that, this month's translation practice is in the books. But don't go away, you guys. Even though we're done, we're not going away. We'll be back soon. For a break. Welcome to watch Just Love English. I'm Yoyo. I'm Jay. We travel abroad to visit places we haven't been to before, so we need to take a bus. We need to ask the waiter at the restaurant to call us. Mm-hmm. To help me call the waiter, would you please call a taxi for me? Could 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 you please call a taxi for me? 或者是哪边我可以搭到计程车呢？不用你叫我自己去搭。Where can I catch a cab? Where can I catch a cab? Why the taxi or cab? 这两个都是计程车，但是在北美呢，你常常会听到人家说 cab。Cap, cap, okay.、嗯、那 catch 是抓的意思，所以呢 ，catch a taxi 跟 catch a cab 其实都是计程车了哈。Catch a taxi, catch a cab 啊、哦。那 catch a cab 比较口语一点。哦、oh, ，catch a cab。嗯所以大家坐计程车的时候要注意，一定要选那个跳表的计程车，不然有些司机很过分，就会瞒天要价、嗯。你知道，可能一百块就变成两百、三百。对，跳表嘛哈，跳表的那个计程车叫做 metered。Taxi, metered taxi.、嗯、so you can first ask, "Hey, you're doing what? We're doing a count. Do you use the meter? Do you use the meter? Have you paid the meter? If the taxi driver says, "I want to pay the meter," I charge fares according to the meter. 
I charge fares according to the meter. Yes, yes, yes. 上车之后呢，跟司机说啊，请带我到这边来，到的带我去什么什么地方。Please take me to this address. Please take me to this address. 对，对。所以如果到了目的地的时候，记得跟司机说，请让我在这边下车。对，比如在快到了，我在在这里就好，这里就好。Please drop me off here. Please drop me off here.、嗯、drop me off 这个字面上就是把我丢在这里就好了哈。Please drop me off here. 好，或者哎，那个前面十字路口让我下。嗯、Please drop me off at the intersection. Please drop me off at the inter intersection. Intersection. Uh huh. 那如果下车时候像我妈那种很大方人，都会把那零钱买啊，你拿去，你拿去，没有关系，当小费。啊哈，就别走啊。Keep the change. Keep the change. Keep the change. Keep the change. 这样就好了。对，接下来看我们的 life action. Do you use the meter? Yes, I charge fares according to the meter. Oh, where would you like to go? Please take me to this address. Oh, okay. Where would you like me to drop you off? Please drop me off at the intersection. No problem. <coughs> Thank you.、Uh, here is two hundred NT dollars. Keep the change. Thanks. Have a nice day. You too.